Race six on Kipco British Champions Day, this big World Pool Day at Asker. Well, it is after the Lord Mayor's show. To a degree, we've had all the Group 1 races, but it's still a proper race by way of competition. It is a handicap. It's the Balmoral Handicap, and it's run over the straight 1,600 metres. A big cavalry charge and a big betting race to finish the day. Holloway boy, he heads it. Uh, he actually broke his maiden at Royal Asker on his first ever start a couple of years ago. You go further down, Sebuska, Cicero's Gift, El Najm, Popmaster, Carry the One. Further down, you've got Mr. Professor, Thunder Run, who we have to talk about. Uh, Bo Pedro, Star of Orion, Twami Sun, Mexicali Rose, Latam, uh, State Actor, and Mersky. Let's go back to a big whirlpool meeting, John, and uh, the success in a strong handicap, traditionally so as well, from Thunder Run, beating a number of key players. Uh, yeah, but he had a nice draw this day, Thunder Run, but he used it very much uh, to his uh, benefit, as indeed did Holloway Boy. I was very keen on Holloway Boy on this particular uh, day, and he ran OK, and he'd run OK as well uh, this time round because he's got stall nine, which I think is a pretty good place to be. Thunder Run is one of the fairly a small amount of real proper go forward horses yes. in this spot so I think it's gonna be difficult to overhaul haven't quite got him in uh, but I think he'll be there or thereabouts okay Graham let's uh, have a look at some early September form from Haydock might have already thrown up a group one winner by the time we get to the final race come Saturday because Prague was there he does run in the queue Queen Elizabeth the second stakes um, we had Cicero's gift there on top though Holloway boy yeah what a smashing horse has been ever since he made his debut and won the Chesham stakes at Royal Ascot a couple of years ago at 40 to 1 I think and this was yep. this was just reward for a series of good efforts from Holloway Boy. He gets the better of Prague, who probably got first run on Prague, John, but he just keeps running really, really well, Holloway Boy, and even with a huge weight, I think he has to be respected again. Yeah, horses have run well in this race with big weights in the past. There's no reason why he can't go uh, well here, and soft ground shouldn't be a problem either. OK, um, I quite like uh, Cicero's gift in, in the race. Um, let's go further down and uh, have a look at some previous form as well. Another couple of runners coming into this. Uh, this was the Cambridgeshire where over on the far side, Twami Sun was best of the finishers. Just look at that split. You don't get that really in too many places in the world other than the UK, John. No, you don't. He's been very consistent all season, of course, that really good run at Goodwood as well. This is a funny Cambridge, and normally it's the horses towards the stand it side is, to do yeah. well, but it was over the far side this time round. Mine aren't even in the picture. They're well, all yes, stand yeah, side. Yes, I yeah. got clever and went with their <laughs> high drawn horses as well. Uh, but yeah, again, he's a horse who, um, the straight mile at Ascot, of hopefully a strongish pace, uh, will suit him. The draw we have to mention here, mm. I think he's drawn pretty high, yeah. Twami's son, isn't he? Yeah. Last year's race, the Balmoral, was a bit of a joke, to be honest. Soft ground, they all gravitated straight towards the far rail, nearly all. The first principles home were four, five, two, seven, yeah. three, nine, eight. the draw. We can't predict what will happen this time around, but do keep that in mind. Um, and, Greg, we should say as well, when we go to you for your one, two, three, four, the final for the day, there, there's, a, there's a slight caveat as regards who's definitely running and who might squeeze in. Yeah, at the moment, Kirat is first reserve. If he runs, he'll have cheap pieces for the first time, and if he runs, keep an eye on him because he's very, very progressive. But I like a horse, an Irish lady here called State Actor, who's only had six runs. He's been progressing really nicely and he quickened so well to get to the front in the Irish Cambridgeshire. Just run down in the final strides. I like this horse and he's drawn low. Big chance, I think, for State Actor. The placed horses all have consistency on the side, but I think the Irish might be smiling in the last race on Champions Day. Yeah, I've got State Actor in. He goes in second for me, but Holloway Boy on top. The Chesham Stakes winner from a couple of years ago mm. could well uh, win the Balmoral Handicap here. Certainly, it's going to be a difficult weight-carrying effort, but it's got a good draw and should be able to position up just behind the speed. State Actor in there for a second. Carry the one. Slaloms around like Alberto Tomba in his races. Often finds trouble, but he often comes on really quickly, regardless of how races are run. I think he's got to be in there for exotics. And Days of Our Lives is running well at the moment. Gets a good draw, too. Um, for what it's worth, I'm putting in a big price one. Number three, Cicero's Gift under Billy the Kid, Billy Lockland for Charlie Hills, who could do with a big race winner. Um, and I really hope that Cicero's Gift is going to have the right kind of setup for him, even from that high draw. But thank you very much to Graham. So to John, we steered you through Kipco British Champions Day, this massive whirlpool day. Best of luck, whatever you're punting, and enjoy the action. It should be a super day.